Yo, what's going on guys? Try back again here bringing another video. This one's going to be an MMA related video talking about Quentin Rampage Jackson. So as you guys will know in the last few days, Quentin's been talking a lot about the uh, UFC. He's not happy, he's not pleased, and he's going to leave, this, leave the UFC. This will be probably his last fight uh, in the octagon. Uh, after that, we'll see what he does. You know, uh, He said he's going to maybe try some other things out, maybe a rap career, maybe fight in other organizations. Uh, I've said before I'd like to see him fight Fedor. I think that'd be a great fight. Musasi would be a great fight at Dream. Maybe he could do something like that, go to Dream and fight some guys. Uh, we'll see what happens with uh, with Paige. But um, this is not that far off. So this fight is rumored to happen in UFC 147, which is the Anderson Silva versus uh, Chael Sonnen. Um, in Rio, in Brazil, or no, sorry, in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, and that is June 16, 2012. So shit, what's today? Today is March 14th. That gives us, let's do the math here real quick. Um, April, May, June. Uh, we got, yeah, three months. Three months for in a fight. I thought he was injured. So if, if Paige was injured or something wrong with his knee, three months is not, an, is not enough time, man, because then he's got to... You know, I don't know what's wrong with his knee, but he, he said his knee was injured and his doctor gave him TRT for it and all kinds of other stuff. So why is he taking a fight so soon? I mean, especially against uh, Shogun in Brazil. Um, <laughs> this is not looking good at all. Um, not at all. I mean, it kind of looks like the UFC put him into, uh, you know, like he, he's getting a royal screw job here. Because, first off, you know, I, I figured he'd have at least four or five, maybe six months heal his knee up, get better, do his rehab, get his knee back in shape, and then go out and face uh, you know, a good competitor. I mentioned Shogun as a suggestion in my last couple of videos, just saying that I thought that he would be a good matchup for Rampage. Where he's at right now, that'd be exciting. Um, but I thought it would be at, in like August or September. I really hope it's not in June, just because I really don't think we're going to see the best Rampage. I mean, everything he's going through right now, the problem with his knee, having to have taken TRT, you know, um, all these different things, and he doesn't he, right now mentally. He doesn't seem like he's in a good um, in a good place. Rampage is, you know, even though when he's in there, he you know he's rampage. He goes crazy, you know, um, but mentally he he does have some issues, so to speak. And not not to say he's mentally ill. He's not not like that. I just mean that you know if his mind isn't in the right place, sometimes he can get lazy. He won't train as much. You know, uh, and his his mind can defeat him in, in certain fights. Uh, you know, a lot of people were were thinking he was going to walk right through uh, Matt Hamill, and he didn't really he beat him, but he didn't really handily beat him, and people were really surprised by that. And uh, it's pretty well known that when Rampage fights guys that are not the same caliber as he is, he doesn't train that much because he doesn't like training. He said it a million times. He doesn't like training. Uh, I think for Shogun, he's going to train. He's going to train, and he's going to train as hard as he possibly can because. If this fight's going to happen in June, he better get that knee healed up real fast because, I mean, in Brazil against Shogun is going to be a tough fight for anybody. Well, except John Jones. Um, who else could easily beat Shogun? You know, in the light heavyweight division, there's nobody else that could easily beat Shogun. Everybody there who fights Shogun is going to have a tough time against him. You know, he's, he's a really tough fighter, and especially in Brazil, it's going to be, man, it's going to be real tough. So I'm going to do a prediction for it. You know, it really seems to me like the UFC is kind of doing this on purpose. If they're going to put it for this date, you know, I can't say that Rampage is going to be, you know, his knee and everything. I don't know if he's going to be ready, guys. And, uh, you know, even if he even if he trains hard and everything like that, I'd love to see Rampage win this fight. I really would. And avenge that loss back in Pride where Shogun, uh, you know, laid him out like that with, uh, with the knee. I, I just would love to see uh, Rampage win this fight because I'm a big Rampage fan. Probably a bigger Page fan than I am a Shogun fan. Um, that being said, though, I, I think we all have to be realistic here. In this amount of time, with the issues that Page has had with his, you know, like uh, not being happy with the UFC, talking about leaving, all this kind of stuff, um, and the fact that it's in Brazil. I have to pick Shogun in this fight. As much as I want Paige to win, you know, I, I definitely, I say if you're a betting man, you're probably going to want to bet on Shogun in this matchup. I'm sure he's going to be the favorite. He put on a crazy performance against Henderson in a very, very close fight. The thing is about Rampage is if the same Rampage comes out uh, that was the champion UFC a few years ago that was, you know, dominant and fighting well, 
before all this, you know, uh, the recent stuff and, um, you know, losing to Ryan Bader and that kind of stuff, he's really tough to beat, and he is a top, top guy. But with everything that's been going on behind the scenes, him talking about the UFC, being dissatisfied with uh, what's going on, wanting to leave, and then jumping right back into another fight after he just lost the decision because his knees bummed out, you know, in home territory, uh, in home field advantage to Shogun, I mean, it just looks to me like he's getting a royal screw job. Uh, obviously, he kind of, this for Rampage, Rampage really needs to win this fight. He needs to. If he wants to go on afterwards and make money in other organizations, putting on other fights, he has to beat Shogun here. If he doesn't beat Shogun here and then he leaves, you know, who's going to follow him? People are going to be like, oh, well, you know, he's not even a top 10 light heavyweight anymore. He's old. Who cares? Right? So, you know, we might see a, a really hungry Rampage come out. And, um, you know, he's got awesome punching power, um, you know, great anti-wrestling, great stand-up overall. The thing is, is that he's slowed down a lot over the years. He's not as fast as he was, okay? Um, he also, too, seems to gas out uh, easier than he used to. And, like we saw it against Machida in the third round. And, um, yeah, I mean, I just, as much as I like Rampage as a fighter, I think he's probably... You know, he might not be the type of guy that's just going to straight up retire. Because if he's going to leave the UFC and go out and do his own stuff, he'll do other stuff. And maybe he'll put on some fights here and there in other organizations. But it's going to be really limited. I can't see him getting in, you know, having too many fights in other organizations. Maybe Dream, he could have, you know, maybe three, four fights. But we're going we're gonna to see Rampage retire really soon. And I just think the ages and everything uh, matching up, this isn't the best Rampage there's been. You know, uh, I don't think so. I'd be very surprised to see if the best Rampage we've ever seen comes out and knocks out Shogun. I'd love to see it happen. I just don't think it will. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, the situation. Very weird um, that they would put him in a fight so fast right after, you know, losing like that to Bader. Um, yeah, that's it for you guys later.